quick and basic video of adjusting rocker arms. This is a Chevy 4.3 engine, same as the 350, 305. Most engines are the same. These are poly locks. They, they get, give you thread right away. Most adjustable valve train engines use that, the ones you can adjust. This is not an adjustable valve train engine, so we had to change it. And these studs don't give you a ton of room, so we use these because normal nuts, they grip a couple, I know, an eighth of an inch deeper. These ones grip right away. So what our trick is, I'm going to just put this down just here loosely. We're going to rotate the engine by hand. Wait for it to go all the way down. Make sure it goes all the way down. That's it. So you can't go down any further. The other one just went up. The valves won't be open at the same time. So I'm going to take this. I'm over exaggerating. And make sure you roll this a little bit. I was told to make sure it's in the center of the push rod. The lifters, excuse me. The push rods in the center of the lifters. And we're going to look for zero last, which means we're just going to do this till it stops moving. And we have no play. Yeah, right there. But you're always going to have left and right play wiggle back and forth. So now we got that. We got our zero lash. And we're doing this one. And we're going to grab our wrench. Find it. I'm just using an adjustable. You really don't need nothing special. And we're going to take half a turn. I would never do one like some people say. You can do three quarters if you really want to. Hold it. Tighten it. Tighten the poly lock to center, all the way down. Normal nuts, you don't have to do this with factory stuff. Tight, done. They're into each other. Perfect. Adjusted. That's the basics of it. So we can do one more. This one's actually down all the way. But we'll spin it. There's an order or two you can do. I forgot what it is. You can look it up online. So what I do is push it. We'll put it in loosely, just so it holds it a little bit. And what I do is watch it go up. And obviously it's got to go down, keep going. Another turn more. There, now it's obviously all the way down. Make sure we have the poly lock loosened. That's the nut in the center. I can't tell you exactly what size this is. I don't know. I just grabbed one out of the set. Make sure that's loose all the way. And back it off. We can just use it to see if it's going down. Now we have no up and down play. Go approximately half. Get a little over, it ain't gonna kill you. Tighten it up. And that's how you set your valves. You don't, don't have to use a ton of force. You don't want to break them, stretch them. So that's it. Hopefully that gives you a little guidance on how to set valves. This is a 4.3. I've been doing a couple videos on how to do an adjustable valve train and how to soup these up a little bit. There's not much you can do. It's all in forums. There's no books, no stuff. So I had to research it. And most shops don't even know what you can and can't do. And these are not narrow rocker arms. So this way they're so close. And then you have to use a steel valve cover to try to make it work too. And these are shimmed a little bit. So you can watch my other videos about that. So hopefully it gives you a little guidance. Thank you for watching. Um, another quick thing, these will spin even after you did your zero lash. That's when they don't go up and down. These will move a little bit. And on a Vortec engine you need to have self-aligning rockers. Just really quick to do that. I'm just trying to make it basic. Self-aligning rockers have those little tabs there, tab there, tab there to tighten it down so it doesn't fall off because these have no stud plates. The plates are things that go here to hold them, little uh, forks. So yeah, these will move, these will move, even when they're under load. Don't worry about that. We're looking up and down play, not left and right. 